with a black woman. Of course. As a surrogate mother. Of course. But I've seen Blanket, and I think safe to say his mother was probably white. No, you? you're wrong. I'm wrong. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So Blanket's mother's black? Yeah. But Blanket's so light. Black people were called colored people because we come in all colors. From very white, as white as my hand, to very dark, as the dark of your shirt. My father had blue eyes. You know, and, um, and when they see Paris, they always think, Debbie, but that, that could easily be my father's genes, you know. Really? Of course. So when do you think you're going to have your next child? I wish I could have it today. Really? I was thinking about adopting two kids from each continent around the world. Really? Yeah. Boy and a girl. From, from every continent. continent? On every continent. That's my dream. And he deserved all the joys of life. As and so it was that we came back to our meeting at Neverland with 12-year-old Gavin. I'd found this easily the most disturbing moment of the past eight months. You know, some have, and they say, is that really appropriate? When you're talking about children, we met Gavin. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a great privilege to meet Gavin because he's, yeah. he's had a lot of suffering in his life. Yeah. When Gavin was there, he talked about the fact that he shares your bedroom. Yes. Can you understand why people would worry about that? Because they're ignorant. But is it really appropriate for a 44-year-old man to share a bedroom with a child who is not related to him at all? That's a beautiful thing. That's, that's not a worrying thing? Why should it be worrying? Who's the criminal? Who's, who's Jack the Ripper in the room? <laughs> this is a guy trying to help heal a child. I'm sleeping in a sleeping bag on the floor. I gave him the bed because he has a brother named Star. So him and Star took the bed. And I'm on the floor in the sleeping bag. Did you ever sleep in the bed with them? No. But I have slept in the bed with many children. I sleep in the bed with all of them. When Macaulay Culkin were little, Kiri, Kieran Culkin would sleep on this side, Macaulay Culkin's on this side, his sister's in there. We're all just jamming the bed. And we'd wake up like dawn and go in the hot air balloon. You know, we would, we have the footage. We I have all that footage. But is that right, Michael? It's very right. It's very loving. That's what the world needs now. More love, more the world. More, the world needs a heart. the world needs a man who's forty four sleeping no, in a you're bed making with it, children. No, no, you're making it all wrong. Well, well tell wrong. me, help me. Because, what's wrong with sharing a love? You, you don't sleep with uh, your kids or some other kid who needs love who didn't have a no, good childhood. No, I don't. I would never dream of sleeping. I would. I would. Sleep. I would never dream. Because you've never been where I've been mentally. What anything. do you think people would say if I said, well? I've invited some of my daughter's friends round, or my son's friends round, and they're going to sleep in the bed with me tonight. That's fine. What do you think their parents would say? If they're wacky, they would say, you can't. But if you're a close family, like your family, you know them well, and... Um, and uh, but, Michael, I wouldn't like my children to sleep in anybody else's bed. Well, I wouldn't mind if I knew the person well, and I... Like, if I'm very close to Barry Gibb, Paris and Prince can stay with him any time. My children sleep with other people all the time. And you're happy with that? Fine with it. They're honest. They're sweet people. They're not Jack the Ripper. I suppose the problem for many people is what happened in 1993 or what didn't happen. What didn't happen. Just cast your mind back. What was that like when you first heard the allegations that were being made against you? It was shocking, and I'm not allowed to talk about this by way of law. So, no, but, but how did you feel about what was being said? I'm not asking you to talk about what was said. I was shocked because um, God knows in my heart how much I adore children. But I, isn't that precisely the problem, that when you actually invite children into your bed, you never know what's going to happen? But when you say bed, you're thinking sexual. They make that sexual. It's not sexual. But we're going to sleep. I tuck them in. We put. I put a little like uh, music on, and to a little story time. I read a book. It's very sweet. We put the fireplace on. We give them hot milk. You know, we have little cookies. It's very charming. Very sweet. Sure. It's what the whole world should do. The reason that's been given for why you didn't go to jail was because you reached a financial settlement with the family. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to do a long, drawn-out thing on TV like O.J. and all that stupid stuff. 
and it would it wouldn't look right. I just said, look, get this over with. I want to go on with my life. It's just ridiculous. I've had enough. Go. I questioned him much further, but the confidentiality agreement he signed means we cannot show that part of the interview. My questions had upset him deeply. People don't even eat with their fathers anymore, or their mothers. The, the, the family bond has been broken. It's an outcry for attention why kids are going to school with guns. They want love. They want to be touched. They want to be held. But they're busy off on their day job and, you know, and they leave them at home on the computer and they're just doing all kind of crazy stuff and that's destroying our world. We need to bond again. That's very important, Martin. Why does it mean so much to you? I'm just very sensitive to their pain and I'm very sensitive to the family, the, con the human condition, you know, on that subject. It means a lot to me, and I want to help do whatever I can to help that, you know. And it's, um, like I said before, and I'll say it a million times, I'm not afraid to say it. If there were no children on this earth, if they, somebody announced all kids are dead, I would jump off the balcony immediately. I'm done. I'm done. We And so I left Michael Jackson as he prepared to go back to Neverland. What I'd come to realize was that Neverland wasn't just a home near Los Angeles, it was Michael Jackson's world, wherever he happened to be. A place where his enormous wealth allowed him to do what he wanted, when he wanted, how he wanted. It's a place that he'd created. He'd lived there since he was a child and it was clear that he would never leave. But for me, it was time to say goodbye to Neverland. Whatever it is you love about the Brits, you can be sure that we'll bring you more controversy and more amazing performances in the Brit Awards 2003, coming soon. Next, though, it's the ITV News. Then at 11.20, all the weekend's footballing highlights in the Premiership on Monday. Music.